Hello, my narcissistic abuse family. Um, today, just a little secret I'll let you in on. It's my 40th birthday, and it's been the best day ever. It's been an amazing weekend, to be honest. But um, I just want to make a video real quick because my opportunities, few and far between, I told you. But um, today, I have a minute. So, I'm talking about a recent post I put up on my Instagram. It is regarding how we do things that are totally out of character for ourselves just to earn the narcissist's approval, just to have a shred of a connection with this wicked person. And when the narcissist is your parent, in my case, this is what I was referring to. Um, you know, we are born as wanting to always earn our parents' love and approval. It's just an inherent, you know, characteristic that we are born with because children are perfect and beautiful and sweet and innocent and when you're born to a narcissistic parent, they take full advantage of this beautiful, sweet innocence and purity and the inherent desire that we have to, to have to earn our parents' approval. When your parent is a narcissist, narcissists in general are just miserable unhappy people and they view the whole world that external locus of control I have mentioned before they view the world as being out to get them everyone has wronged them they are the perpetual victims and they just seek vengeance basically on everyone people that have nothing to do with them Anyone that is in a better position, superficially in whatever way, like it could be their looks, it could be material possessions, you know, the narcissist is always out to destroy and ruin people. And the higher up they are on the, you know, scale of demographic, socioeconomic status, the more vengeance the narc has on these people it's so twisted it's so immature but that's what narcissists are they're just immature and they're superficial they're judgmental they're entitled all of those deplorable things i'm sure you agree with me they're the exact characteristics that we strive to be the polar opposite of but when your parent, your mother in my case, mother, loosely again using that term, when your mother is a narcissist, you will comply with her malice just to get a shred of a connection with this woman. You'll And for example, here's what I'm saying. So I can't tell you how many times I did or said things to try to like be on her side because that's the other thing narcissists look at the world like it's my team your team you know like in elementary school say when you're having a disagreement with a friend and it was always like team you know your your arch nemesis at the time or team you and the narcissist is always striving to have people on their team and that includes when you're the black sheep, like myself, they're always trying to turn everyone against you because they're the victim and you are wronging them in some way in their deluded minds. So, back to complying with their evil ways. It is totally against our nature because I'm sure, like myself, most of you are empathic, you're sweet, you're kind, you're sensitive, you're 
definitely at bare minimum a decent human being but narcissists do not possess these baseline qualities for being a good person so they will always wage a war against someone in my case my example that i'm using is it was my grandma my paternal grandma so it was my father again loosely using that term he was the enabler the henchman for the narc woman and it was his mother so it was my grandmother and she was basically home on hospice her last days of life and she basically like gave up she didn't want to live anymore and her whole demeanor changed and long and the short of it is that the narc could not stand that this woman her arch nemesis because it was her mother-in-law was garnishing attention again narcs view everything like if someone has something that they want they're stealing it from them you know if you follow the law of attraction the whole universe is abundance so you will never be deprived of something because someone else has it but anyway so the narc was anti my grandma because the enabler henchman was going over there doing his best to take care of her help her out whatever and the narc hated it so at the time i was younger i was more impressionable and we're all impressionable let's face it as children particularly like i said when your parent is the narcissist so anyway so i kind of jumped on that bandwagon and I ended up, like, saying slanderous things about my own grandmother that I loved. And, like, she wasn't perfect. Nobody's perfect. But, gosh, I would never say things like that, man. I would never... I would never say things like that is my point. And we do and we say things in compliance with the narc when we're trying to earn their approval we're trying to have a shred of a connection with them and the sad thing is that's like when I felt closest to her to this cold non-nurturing unaffectionate woman my mother I like she loved when I would like get on her side on her team when I would basically be anti my own grandmother because she clearly was and that was the line she drew in the sand she didn't want anything to do with my poor grandma and there's a million other examples but I think about it now as a grown adult with moral fibers and values and it just horrifies me like you know what the narc they, they're incapable of forging genuine, authentic connections with people. So they try to sabotage anyone that does have that potential, that has the capacity to have genuine, loving connections, relationships, friendships with anyone outside of the dysfunctional narc unit. They try to sabotage you in every way because... They're jealous, essentially, at the root of it all. It's horrifying when you come to this realization, like, that's your, that's your parent, that's your mom. Mom, again, loosely using that term. And it's like, this person is so juvenile and so immature, and it's so upsetting when you look back at your own behavior and think, like, oh my god, like, I sunk to their level, and... My point of this video is that we have to forgive ourselves. We are empathic, most of us. We just want to have that connection. We want the approval. We want to have a, a relationship with our own flippin' parent. But, you know, it's not our fault. We look to these people like they're 
role models of sorts. Like they're an authority figure, like they are, you know, maintaining our best interests. And all the while they are not, they are juvenile, they're incapable of being responsible for another human being, a child, beautiful children. They're just miserable, awful people. And we sink to their level as their children because, or even if it's your partner or spouse or something, because you just want that connection. You just want that approval. You're just looking for a shred of a genuine connection. And that's like as close to it as you will come when you opt to be on Team Narc, we'll call it. So, all right, you guys, I'm, I'm rushing here. Because, again, it's my 40th birthday and I have a celebration to attend to. Um, nothing big, you know. We're in quarantine over here, so we're doing Cheesecake Factory takeout. Pretty awesome, regardless. So, alright, you guys, I love you all and I hope you're doing awesome. We're bumped and we're bruised. But more than anything, we are blessed because we're coming out of this fog, this abuse, and we're better people because of it. We're even more compassionate than, you know, when we started enduring this nightmare. I love you all. I'll be back soon. Bye.